Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, let's see if I can get through a whole video without eating anything this time. So we have what I think is a very mediocre mage deck. I have one flame strike and one blizzard, which adds up to a fair amount of stuff, but the blizzard, you've still got to seal the deal somehow. It's not the same as where flame strike, where you generally annihilate all things. I have some sort of large minions, not like huge minions, but I get a decent number of Gina versus Gina. sort of late gamey things. Another yes, goddamn mage. My magic will tear you apart. Uh, this is once again kind of a slow hand, and my deck has some potential for really crazy fast starts. So let's see if we can get a little bit more in that area. Yeah, it could be worse. A flame cannon to cover my butt and a mech warper to shoot things. Yeah, now I've got lots of minion killing stuff, although it's all pretty random. So you can easily put out something where th none of this does me any good. Ship's cannon. There's no way that can be right. Um, I could blow a lot of stuff on it. The arcane missiles isn't going to finish it. I don't really want to waste a flame cannon on that thing, though. I think I'm going to put out the mech warper under the assumption that when people see a mech warper, they think there's more stuff coming and they prioritize killing it. I happen to know there probably aren't any more mechs coming. So she can shoot that, hit it with the cannon, and then I can shoot the cannon, and then everyone's happy. Because I had fewer minions to start with. I've got nothing. I need to draw some minions. This deck doesn't have enough good, like, fighting minions, though. It's not full of yetis. I need to draw, like, the water elemental next turn for things to start turning around. I mean, it doesn't look like it's gone horribly bad yet, but it's not great. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I guess we're going to find out if it's a counterspell. Nope. I probably shouldn't have wasted that with no minions out, but i got to do it something. Protect myself. It does give her plenty of opportunity to kill them, but it gives me a little bit more time to kill whatever she's attacking them with. So I might just arcane missile that thing out of the way. This would be a good time for a mere entity. Of course, uh... Okay, if the arcane missile had not killed it, it would have been annoying, because I wouldn't have enough mana to do this and the other thing, but... Whatever. We knew she didn't have a counter spell, so... Mere entity it is. Let's see what... Let's see if your five mana minions are better than my craptacular... Nothing in my hand. Hey, got a handful of killing, which is fine. Squire! Attend me. Oh, you're Ready, gonna give sir. me just a four-four there. Which I drop. Attend me. Duplicate. No, I don't want to duplicate these guys. That's not very good. Um, let's kill him in case she has a duplicate. Nope. Flame cannon. Seems like a perfectly good use of a flame cannon. And shoot you. Because why not? Don't think it's worth using Enhanced Mechano, since only the bubbles are any use on these guys, and it's still pretty sad. Bubble or Wind Fury on him would be decent, but yeah, he might die anyway. No, he came out just fine out of that. I mean, she can just pay two mana to kill this anytime she wants to now. There's no need to do it right away because she doesn't have minion. That could be unpleasant. If there was anything beside it, I could cone it, but I can't. Well, let's see if you've got a vaporize. To battle. Nope. And I would like to put out the duplicate, but again, it will get this. It's too obvious if I shoot this and then duplicate, and it wouldn't be worth it anyway. I might as well shoot that, and I'm just going to take beatings from this one turn. Actually, if she shoots that and then kills him, that's annoying, but then I can shoot and kill this, so... You know, she doesn't have a duplicate. That's not ideal. But she didn't pay one mana to kill that. She broke his stealth instead, so this could work out okay-ish. Cone. I 
I don't have enough to kill that guy and duplicate, but I guess this guy's not going to come back anyway if I'm just using him to kill Hogger. So, yeah. I could leave Hogger out there and keep shooting things, but i got to kill that. Now, leaving him out there is so bad because of his guys. What it's just do? dumb. Wait, I can just Ice Lance him. pretty good. Then do that and not attack, which I'm sure seems pretty silly, but getting this guy duplicated would help my cause. Next turn I should be able to shoot that dead. And oh, okay, you're gonna give me lots and lots of soldiers. I mean he's not the best thing to duplicate ever, but that's still a lot of meat. Ah, get behind me. Speaking of a lot of meat. Okay, well, we're gonna go Badoom. Ready, sir. Ah. Well, damn it. I can't shoot him and Cone of Cold everything. So that's pretty annoying. Stop them from attacking. You can attack me with him if you want, but you probably don't want to trade him for that quite the same way. If she leaves my guys alive, I might have to try and enhance O-Mechanical my way out of this situation. Yeah. Go. No, okay, it's not going to be worth it now. She's probably got the duplicate. This is not going well. In case you hadn't, in case you can't tell. It's going bad. Yeah, yeah. I can live with that. So if I played him, I could enhance a Mechano, but this is the only guy who can attack this turn. It's not going to be worth it. I might as well just do this. I, mean, I could fireball something, but I don't think that's going to help enough either. Ready, sir. Mm, that didn't quite go as hoped. Yeah, we're going to play that. Let's do back up. Oh yeah, now I get the, got that guy down to one when I can't shoot him anymore. Uh, if you insist. This is going to go poorly. I'm going to take a billion damage. Like, I might actually just die this turn. Nope. That's even worse. That's game over. I was in a bad position. I had to be a little bit aggressive, I think. She had so much stuff out there of me trying to hold back and play more intelligently was definitely not going to win. I had to try something, but trying has failed. It doesn't matter what I do. It's game over. Ooh. Stupid mirror matches. Like, the secrets going back and forth is just idiotic. I don't know how many I don't know how many flame strikes she had, but I can tell you things would have gone a lot better if I'd drawn a flame strike at any point. There was nothing there a flame strike could not have turned around. Pretty much any time from turn seven onwards, so. Ooh. Alright. See if we can find a not mage this time. So that being a mage can actually be an advantage. It is having a hard time finding a guy. Okay. That really took a long time. Jane versus Shaman. For Doomhammer. Okay. You asked for it. Yeah, every time I get my starting cards, they look bad. They look like not starting hand cards. Which means I'm kind of going blind into every one. When I have to mulligan my whole hand every time, I have no control at all. Yeah, definitely improved. Knife juggler into soot spewer almost looks like a curve. But this is the kind of hand where my opponent can probably just 
whatever he does with his coin will probably be sufficient to put me on the back foot for a long time. Coin totem? No. He's going to save his coin and do something even worse with it. Uh, I can shoot that guy. It means I'm not putting up my knife juggler, which means no curve for me. It, so why would I put out the knife juggler and have him die when I can just shoot that thing? So, Okay, that's not so bad. I'm a little scared of the four mana play that's probably going to come out with that coin next turn. But for now, I could play the Crappergan Infantry. Maybe I should just play a Mirror Entity. I think it's a little bit too early game for that. But there's a concern that my opponent's going to coin out a Yeti or something. What to do? What to do? <sighs> Sips Viewer would be the most solid play, I'm sure. If he coins out a Steam Powered Yeti, though, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. If he coins out a Dune Mall Shaman, I'm going to be super, super pissed. No, you're going to rock lighter that guy. That is not the same. I can live with that. Yeah, he wouldn't He wouldn't have rock lighter the gnome, but he wouldn't have needed to because it would have been the stupid gnome. So that's fine. Uh, since he has nothing with an attack out, I'm going to go ahead and play Knife Juggler and... Oh, that's right, I can't soften them up. Well, damn it. That play sort of went downhill. Remember, he has a healing totem. It would just heal them. So if he's got a flame tongue, he can beat my face in. It would make a lot of sense with his prioritizing totems early on. Nope, that works just as well. Alright, I'm just going to play him. Whatever. On the surface, he does look like he would defeat this stuff. Although he might get earth shocked, he would still be a 4-3, which would be okay. Ooh, yeah. I mean, my maybe giving my opponent a little bit too much control over that situation, but it dealt with the situation. This is how I looked at it, more or less. So next turn I could Mana Worm and start actually getting bonus for playing this. Ugh, that's kind of ugly, though. Oh my god, that is bad. That thing is super, super bad. To the point that I'm wondering if I should just Blizzard them. It will stop him from attacking, and it will annihilate that thing, which is bad. It's bad. Flame Cannon is unreliable. Now, killing either one of them with the Flame Cannon would be fine. What else would I do with my turn, though? I guess Mana Worm, and uh, the Mana Worm would be able to 3 attack. You know, maybe it's worth it. I could take a lot of damage from either one of these guys, but I think I'm going to try and go without Blizzarding right now. Because I can get... I have the Mirror Entity to cover me. I can get this guy's attack up. And one of them will be dead. not even sure which one I was cheering for. This guy is that bad. At the very least, he can be blizzarded. So that much is good. Yeah, hit me for three and kill this. I'm guessing he's going to boost this somehow. Hit me for like a billion damage. Which would be unpleasant. Oh, speaking of unpleasant... That was pretty bad for me. That totally wasted my mirror entity. I mean, not it's not like a 1-1 one, one wasted, but still. That was a very good choice of minion, because he got the real value out of this guy, and I got, like, the leftovers. Did he beat my face in, understandably. He's still trying to decide if he should kill this. I think the answer is clearly no. You should just hit me again. It would be silly not to hit me again, I think. Then again, I'm going to, like, blizzard his guys. But, yeah, it's, uh, to me that seems like a no-brainer. Maybe I'm wrong. Excuse me. So I could blizzard them. On the other hand, I could Nomergan infantry and then shoot this thing, like hit it with the charge, and then it would be gone. 
my crap infantry would be at one hit point. I could trade these guys. And I would only have two mana left, which I couldn't do anything with anyway. So, you know what? I'm not going to do it that way. I think I should save my blizzard, though. I think I should just trade this guy for that, and I'll play the Archmage, because he's pretty tough. And he means I could do a three-point blizzard, which would be pretty impressive. It takes some work to get rid of him. And the three-point blizzard might work out well since it would kill this guy if, for example, he doesn't find some way to trade him for my guy. Hmm. You get too Machiavellian like this, though, it could easily go wrong. But I think it's just... I, I feel like I can get better use out of my blizzard than just that. I think at some point he's going to have either bigger things or more things, and either way... The freezing or the damage. One of them will be more valuable later on. The minions in my hand do not exactly inspire confidence, though. Oh, Jungle Panther yeah. can beat something down. He just rarely seems worth the cost when you're in like a fighting situation, as we have been so far. The Nomergan infantry are pretty meh. Although, at least as a mage, I can spend five mana, have the infantry hit something for one, and then shoot it for one as well. So... Maybe get some killing in, and kill a totem or whatever. That's exciting. I don't know if he was hoping for spell damage so he could crackle my guy out or something, but... See, that looks kind of worth blizzarding. Duplicate? This guy's pretty big to duplicate, but no, I, th I think I'm going to super blizzard. Stop that guy, do some damage. Then reevaluate. Of course, I can't shoot him because he's untargetable. Makes it more fun nuking his health down, though. Still, it's not like that was the best Super Blizzard ever, but I think it did the job. Duplicate kind of conflicts with these guys, because they're not good enough. Oh, I wish I could duplicate that. That bites, because my guy's probably dead now, right? He can't trade... he can't take that out and still be alive, which is what I was really hoping for. So take that guy out, he'd be softened up, then I could play the duplicate, get him copied, even though he's not that great for the cost. Cone of Cold? That is a two damage Cone of Cold. That is kind of cool. Yeah, that was unintended, but still. I think we're going to go play the Panthers, straight, take something out, and we're going to shoot this guy and do some damage. I think he's earning his keep so far this game, which is, which is unusual to me. If I draw the other Cone of Cold, it would be hilarious. Assuming he's still alive. It would probably be hilarious in the other way if my opponent kills him, and then I draw the other corner cold, and then I'm like, I wonder. Although, even then, it would kill this guy. That would be okay. Earthstalk him so he can attack. Boo. I can't just shoot this guy. There is the Steam Yeti that we've all been worried about. I mean, I was really worried about him early on. Not as much now. Well, damn it. That sort of removes my options, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to duplicate my auctioneer. This seems like a stupid plan. Let's do it. Because he does give me a card for playing duplicate. Boy. You'd, under a very loose definition of card, he gives me a card. Duplicating him, by the way, is not like a powerhouse move. It might annoy my opponent, but it's not going. It's not a game-winning, like strong, good move. Although, when the Yeti dies, I will get a one-cost spell, which will draw me another card through him. So that could be worse, I guess. Ah, oh, he's going to draw more cards than I am from this play. Well, I guess not technically, because maybe this is a mess. And it's not going well. Put it that way. Hmm. 
What to do? Saw that coming. I bet he didn't see that coming. Like, who the hell does that? Apparently me. Take some beatings. I'm going to take a lot more beatings before this through, but I can play an auctioneer, shoot him, then use his uh, spare part to draw another real card. Oh, he got healed. That's right. That is miserable-tastic. Like, really bad. That wasn't part of my plan. Damn you. Ah, uh, new plan. We're going to get rid of the cult leader idiot. I almost misclicked there, too. That would have not been bright. That was about the best turn I was going to get there. I've got a handful of stupid auctioneers who are way too expensive for how useful they're likely to be. Although it means I can draw a real card out of my ice barrier, potentially. Damn it! That is not helping our mission. You can trade that and still hit me for six. It's not a good deal for me. It's looking like another loss. Um, okay, that seems unnecessary. Unless they're just killing me this turn, in which case I guess it works pretty well. Ow. I know duplicating the auctioneers wasn't good. I was I was in a bad place at that point in time. But it would have been nice to get a chance to use them a little bit. So this is turning into a really bad run. I thought it was a pretty average mage deck, but I think it just doesn't have enough minions who are capable of fighting. I have two duplicates is amazing. I don't have good enough guys that are worth duplicating. So we're going to see if I can get any farther at all next time. If you found that useful or entertaining, or if you enjoy cookies, hit the like button. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on youtube.com slash demonac.